Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. In this video series, I will be solving tough engineering mechanics problems. If you want to watch more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. Today's problem is a horizontal prismatic bar AB of negligible weight and length L is hinged to a vertical wall at A and supported at B by A tie rod BC that makes the angle alpha with the horizontal. A weight P can have any position along the bar as defined by the distance X from the wall. Determine the tensile force S in the tie bar. In today's problem given is a prismatic bar, horizontal prismatic bar AB of length L and negligible weight is hinged at A and at B there is a tie rod BC is attached. So this tie rod makes an angle alpha with this horizontal and a weight P is uh, kept at a distance X from this wall. So in this problem we need to establish a relationship between tension in this tie rod P, X and L and angle alpha. Let us see in the coming slides how to solve this problem. First let us see forces and reactions. The weight P is acting vertically downwards and tension in this tie rod is S and that is marked in this direction. Angle between S and this AB is alpha. AB is horizontal and distance from this wall to P is X. Now let us see the reaction at A, RA that is drawn in this direction because in order for this uh, system to be in equilibrium all these forces must meet at a point D. So here from P a line is drawn vertically upwards and on to this tie rod CB since this S is acting towards uh, along tie rod. So S and P meets at, meet at D and a reaction RA must also meet at D. So a line along with along RA is drawn to meet at D. Now let us see this angle since this angle is alpha this angle must also, must also be alpha. Now let us draw force triangle. To draw force triangle an, an arrow parallel to P is drawn from A to C here. Another arrow that is parallel to S is drawn from here to here C to D. Uh, from the end of S there is another arrow drawn parallel to RA. So that is this. So all these three arrows form a triangle ACD. Now let us see the geometry here. In this geometry triangle ACD is similar to this triangle ACD. So using this um, similar triangles principle we can write P by AC equal to S by CD. So this distance by uh, P by this distance equal to S by this distance. Now from this geometry uh, AC can be written as this is L and this is alpha. AC is L tan alpha and CD can be written as CD equal to this distance is X. So from here to here E to D is X and this angle is alpha since this angle is also alpha. So from, uh, from this little triangle we can write CD equal to X by cos alpha that is written here. Now let us substitute AC and CD in this equation. So we get P by L tan alpha equal to S by X by cos alpha. After rearranging and simplification we get S equal to P X by L sin alpha. Yes that is tension in uh, tie rod equal to P the applied load into X the distance by L sin alpha. So this is a relationship. That's all for today's video. If you like this content please like share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.